I used to be able to sleep. I used to laugh a genuine type of laughter. Now I find myself lying in bed, half asleep, only to jump awake to answer telemarketers' phone calls. You see, when my father passed away, I was asleep. I neglected to hear my phone ringing. I was informed of his passing via voicemail, and now I'm deathly afraid of missing phone calls. It's funny, really, how situations can change us, change who we are, change how we think and cope, change everything about ourselves. The places in these photographs made me who I was. Situations made me who I am. I was born into a very loving and hard-working Christian family. My parents taught me how to work hard and how to always love and help others. These photographs are from the place that I learned all of that, and so much more. This is my childhood home. It is my favorite place on this planet. These photographs are all I have left. After the passing of my father, the bank refused to speak to or take payment from my mother because she wasn't him. After many months of tears, lawsuits, and frustration, the bank stole the home and property away from my mom. I know there wasn't anything I could have done, but I felt helpless and guilty that I was sitting on the sidelines with my hands tied. I'm still looking for a way to forgive myself and for a better outcome in all of this. I'm seeking some sort of closure. I can't help but feel like a disappointment. After all, I moved across the country, and I wasn't there when my family needed me through all of this. I believe that art is more than just paint splattered on a canvas. I believe that it is personal and emotional. I found these negatives tucked away one day when I was working, and I nearly broke down. I quickly realized how emotional I had gotten and understood. This, this is art. These tiny, transparent, emulsion-covered strips had the ability to move me in a way that I never thought possible. In that moment, it wasn't about the shadows, the highlights, the printing process, or even the medium. It was the flood of feelings and thoughts that suddenly consumed me. I immediately knew I had to print them. Not to have others admire or scoff at, but of some sort of poetic closure for the situations that have drastically changed who I am today. I am still learning and fighting each day to become a more complete and whole me. I'm learning to forgive and move on through the good and the bad, whether through open doors or with time, until I have completely figured out how to become the boy with the genuine laughter again. I have this project, the photos of this place that have been an outlet for me. For those of you that know me, you've known that I've had a beard for forever. Some of you might not know that the reason why I started growing a beard was because um, I stopped shaving the day I got that voicemail. The day my dad passed away. And I just kept going with my way of coping. And since this project is all about closure and overcoming those things, it was only appropriate that the beer came off. Hi. You're so pretty.